Welcome to Relation Tales. Please like this video and subscribe Relation Tales. Darian sat on the couch, watching quietly as she put on her makeup, getting ready for a party her co-workers invited her to. The room was silent, except for Darian's heavy sigh. Are you really going? Darian asked, his voice tired and full of sadness. Aluin looked at him through the mirror, her eyes showing a bit of uncertainty. It's just a company party, Darian. I'll be back soon. Don't worry. Darian stood up and walked toward her, sadness and doubt clear on his face. You've been going out a lot. You've been away from home a lot lately. Isn't this too much? Elian paused for a moment, sighed, and looked away from Darian. We'll talk later. Okay. I need to go now. Everyone's waiting for me. The determination in her voice made Darian feel his heart tighten. He couldn't hold back anymore. His voice was full of pain. Elian. Are you really choosing the party? And your colleagues over our marriage? Eloan stood still for a moment. Darian's words made her waver, but she didn't turn to look at him. It's just a party. Darian, I need to go out. We'll talk later. She grabbed her purse and walked out, leaving Darian alone in the house, quiet and empty. Darian sat on the sofa, a feeling of worrying and doubt constantly tormenting his mind. The image of Alawan walking out of the house without looking back made him even more uneasy. He couldn't let this evening pass. He had to know the truth. He picked up the phone and called Josh, a close friend from college. Josh was not only a friend, but also a professional private investigator who had helped Darian in several difficult situations before. After a few rings, Josh picked up. Darian spoke, his voice tense. Darian, what's wrong? Josh asked, sounding worried. Darian took a deep breath, trying to stay calm. It's a Lewin. I'm not sure, but she's been acting really different lately. She just went to a party, but I have a bad feeling. I think she might be cheating on me. There was a pause on the other end of the line before Josh replied, his voice more serious. You want me to follow her? Yes. Can you start now? Darian asked, feeling desperate. I'll pay you whatever you need. Just help me. Don't worry about the money, Darian. Send me her address and a picture, Josh replied. I'll follow her and let you know what I find. Darian quickly sent Josh the information. His heart was full of emotions as he sat in his chair, unable to stop looking at his phone, waiting for an update. That night, Darian lay in bed, eyes wide open, staring at the ceiling. It was already 10 p.m., but he couldn't sleep. His phone was on the bedside table, and he kept picking it up every few minutes, hoping for a message from Josh. The anxiety was heavy, making each minute feel like an hour. Finally, when the phone rang, Darian jumped, his heart racing. He opened the message from Josh. She didn't go to the party like she said. Instead, she met a man. They didn't go to the bar. And instead, they held hands and turned into a small alley. Josh, don't stop, keep following them. I need to know what they're doing. Darian said. Understood. I'll report as soon as I have more information. Josh replied. Just 20 minutes later, Darian received a text from Josh. The sight before his eyes made him freeze. Elan and him were hugging each other and had sex right there on the street. Elan leaned against the trash can. Darian sat frozen on the chair, his eyes glued to the phone screen, where the painful images were clearly displayed in every detail. The scene was clearly displayed through the pictures Josh sent, making Darian freeze. Elaine had betrayed him. His heart felt like it was broken into small pieces. Elaine's betrayal was not only a shock, but also a devastating blow to him. Darian sat in the darkness of the room, his eyes still glued to the phone screen. But his mind had drifted into an unknown void. He knew clearly that this marriage couldn't go on. Darian couldn't live with Eluin's betrayal and lies for another day. The pain in his heart made him want to scream, but he stayed silent, letting the emotions build up inside like a storm ready to burst. Divorce, he whispered to himself, as if the decision was already made. He couldn't forgive her or keep pretending everything was fine. Darian started planning. He would meet with a lawyer, get the papers ready, and end the marriage. No need for big arguments or excuses from Aluin. For Darian, the betrayal was enough and he wanted to move on with his life without her. He decided not to confront Aluin right away. He didn't want to have a pointless argument with someone he had lost all trust and love for. 
Instead, he would choose to leave. The next morning, Darien still exuded a calm demeanor, acting as if everything was fine. He didn't say much as Alawin prepared for work, nor did she mention what happened last night. It seemed like they both wanted to avoid facing the harsh truth. Alawin didn't know that in Darien's heart, everything had ended since he received Josh's text. As she walked out the door, Darien silently watched Alawin's figure disappear, his heart heavy but without regret. She had chosen her path, and now, Darien had to choose his path to the path away from lies and pain. After Alawin left the house, Darien began to prepare the necessary procedures for the divorce and pack the necessary things, packing a few clothes and imported papers into a suitcase. When he was ready, he walked away without looking back, his heart heavy but determined. The first thing Darien did was go to the bank. He went in and withdrew all the money from the joint account, deciding to keep everything that was his right. He knew that Elowen would stay in the house, the place where they had lived together. Darien decided to go to a place where alone could not find him. Darien rented a small apartment in the suburbs where he could temporarily hide and start over. It was a quiet place where no one knew him. In the new apartment, Darien began to implement the next step in his plan. He went online, searched for a divorce lawyer, and arranged a meeting. He knew it wouldn't be easy, but he knew he had to leave his marriage filled with lies. During the meeting with the lawyer, Darien explained everything, from Aluin's betrayal to how he couldn't live in this lie anymore. The lawyer listened carefully and guided him through the steps he needed to take. Darien was determined to end the marriage, making sure all the paperwork was in order. Back at the house, it felt different. There were no signs of Darien anymore, no familiar sounds or footsteps. When Aluin came home, she was surprised not to see him, and a sense of worry started to creep in. She walked through every room, from the living room to the bedroom, and realized that Darien's things were gone. His suitcase, his clothes, everything was missing. Her heart raced, and her hands shook as she understood something terrible had happened. Aluin couldn't deny it. Darian was gone, likely for good. Shickily, she picked up the phone and quickly dialed his number. When the signal connected, she tried to control her emotions, but her voice was filled with worrying and desperation. Darian, what have you done? Where have you been? Please tell me, did I do something wrong? Darian, I'm sorry. Her voice trembled, choking on her words, tears welling up uncontrollably. She tried to stay calm, but fear took over. You know everything, Elowen, Darian said, his voice low but firm. You've done wrong to me, and you've been cheating on me with another man. You've kept it from me for so long, and now I know it all. I can't live with this betrayal and lies anymore. Elowen heard Darian's words, like a sharp knife piercing her heart. Everything was falling apart before her eyes. She couldn't say anything, tears falling down her face. You know everything, Elowen. Darian said, his voice low but determined. You disobeyed me, and you cheated on me with another man. You hid it from me for so long, but now I know everything. I can't live with this betrayal and lies anymore. Alon heard Darian's words, and it felt like a knife cutting through her heart. Everything was falling apart in front of her. She couldn't say anything as tears ran down her face, but Darian had no time for more excuses. He had made up his mind. I'm sorry, Alon. Our marriage is over, Darien said, his voice sad but firm. He had already met with a lawyer and started the divorce process. When Alon heard this, she froze. Her body felt cold, and for a moment, it was like her heart stopped. No, Darien, Alon said between sobs, her voice shaking and desperate. Please let me explain. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Don't leave me. Come back to me, Alon begged through her tears unable to hide the pain in her heart. I promise I'll never do it again. Please don't give up. Don't leave me, she continued, her voice breaking between sobs. It's too late, Alon. Those words don't mean anything anymore, Darian said, his voice cold but filled with pain. When the process is done, sign the divorce papers. We're finished. With that, Darian hung up, leaving Alon. The phone slipped from her hand as uncontrollable sobs filled her throat. She collapsed to the floor, tears streaming down her face as everything in her life crumbled before her. It was over. 
and she knew she had lost Darian forever. There was no going back. The house felt cold and empty, a reflection of her loneliness. Alon clenched her hands, her heart heavy, realizing there was no chance of fixing or saving the relationship. Everything was broken, and her betrayal had destroyed everything they had built together. Second story. Hi, everyone. My wife and I were talking about people we dated before getting married and some of our experiences from when we were single and living at home. She's always been pretty open with me about things. There was this one guy she dated before we got engaged, Bill, who would take her out from time to time. When I asked about him before, she always said he wasn't her type, and that was her story for most of our 49 years of marriage. The other night, I brought him up again, and she finally admitted that while we were engaged, Bill took her out for a date one night. She said she had a good time, and I assume nothing inappropriate happened. I asked why Bill would take her out knowing she was engaged to me. She didn't really have an answer, but mentioned that he was trying to convince her not to marry me, saying he had a better career, a big house, and nice cars. I told her that was a bit risky. If I had shown up at her place and seen them, it might have changed things for us. Has anyone else had their partner confess something like this years later? At this stage in our lives, all of that is behind us, and we've had a good marriage, but this confession still stung a bit. I'm thankful it's all in the past now.